From the Weather NorCal Command Center, this is your morning update. Cascade Paint & Supply is Reading's oldest family-owned paint store established in 1953. We are the largest Dunn Edwards dealer in the nation and most of our products are made in the U.S. Our friendly and knowledgeable staff are ready to answer your questions and help you today. Well, we saw a bit of a warming trend for your Monday. We peaked out at about 100 degrees, give or take, uh, for many of us in the valley, especially the north end of the valley. It wasn't quite as warm for the south end of the valley. So the cooling trend starts today, and it will peak on Thursday with possible mountain thunderstorms, which we'll get into here in a second, and then warming up near the end of the week and not to mention this weekend. In fact, there's a potential we could see some heat advisories out there uh, for the valley and the surrounding foothills later on this week as we approach the weekend. Fire potential for your Tuesday, it is on the low risk risk side simply because the winds are dying down. They're not as strong as they were over the last several days. Today, we're expecting temperatures to climb up into the low to upper 90s, depending on where you are. About 98 for Redding, but 93 for a high today in Chico. Now, we take you into the mountains where temperatures most likely most of us dodging the 90 degree mark with the exception of some of those warmer spots like Etna and Wairika, for example, but otherwise mainly in the upper 80s for most of us in the higher elevations today. Here's your trend for the valley, in particular for Redding. You see how it's dropping. Thursday is the peak. It warms back up to over 100 degrees. This is where we could see the potential for a heat advisory uh, for the valley and the surrounding foothills. But then look at that. Temperature is actually starting to drop again going through next week. So the heat is diving down to the south and east. And again, we're just seeing that tug of war between the cooler air and the heat. So we go into Friday, Saturday, Sunday, even into Monday, this heat will expand northward into Southern California. Now it will make its way into Northern California, but it's the outer edge of that heat. That's where we're seeing the 105 to 106 come Saturday, Sunday, and even into Monday. But then this cooler air rides to our north, flattens out that ridge of high pressure and pushes it even more to the south, and our temperatures drop as a result, especially by Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday of next week. So let's take a look at future cast and what we're going to do here, zoom it on in here and you can see those clouds coming in here for today. Now, future cast is picking up on a little bit of activity here. There's a chance for a stray shower, maybe in the eastern mountains, but I would not count on it. I think most of it be in the form of just some of those clouds coming in. Now we're going to take you into Wednesday afternoon. We're seeing the clouds move in and at least future cast is not picking up on any showers or thunderstorms. That being said, I'm going to go on a limb here and say that Wednesday, especially for Modoc and the Eastern Mountains, we could see a stray shower, maybe even an isolated thunderstorm. It's not out of the question for Siskiyou County to get in on that as well for Wednesday. In fact, it is picking up on a little bit of activity around the weed area. Now we go into Wednesday night and that breaks apart most of the activity off to our east. Now let's take a look at the long range and it is showing some activity, especially for the Eastern Mountains in Modoc County for Thursday. Friday, much more intense activity is a possibility for Modoc County, Eastern Mountains, and maybe even Siskiyou County. By the way, you notice a little bit of activity trying to develop here in Northern Trinity County. We'll watch that for Friday. For now, I'm keeping it out of the forecast, but we'll certainly keep a close eye on it for you. Then we go into the weekend, and at least this particular model is taking out the chances for thunderstorms Saturday, Sunday, and into Monday of next week. However, there are other forecast models that are saying eh, maybe some activity on the weekend. We'll have to wait and see, but for now, I think the best chances will be the middle to the latter part of this week for those thunderstorms to pop up, and especially in the Southern Cascades and Northern Sierra. Here's your Tuesday forecast. We're no, not seeing those triple digits anymore, low to upper 90s in the valley. So about 93 for Chico, but 98 for Redding. Mainly upper 80s for the higher elevations, but we could see around 95 for Wairika, maybe 92 degrees for Etna. We take a look at your seven day outlook and really across the board, what we're seeing here is temperatures are dropping slowly. By Thursday is the peak of the cooling trend, even for the mountains. Now, speaking of the mountains, for Mount Shasta, Siskiyou County in general, maybe some thunderstorms on Wednesday. I'm taking it out on Thursday with a chance on Friday. For now, everyone in the mountains does not have any thunderstorms over the weekend, but keep a close eye on the forecast because that may change. Now, for Modoc County and the Eastern Mountains, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, I've got a chance for showers and thunderstorms each and every single day. I think the best chances will be Wednesday and then again on Friday. 
Let's take a look at that seven day outlook for the valley. No thunderstorms, but again, the key is the cooler temperatures by Thursday. 90 for Chico by Thursday, 94 degrees for Redding. Temperatures start to increase again. This is where we see temperatures climb well above 100 degrees, especially for Redding with highs between 104 to 106 for Saturday, Sunday, Monday. For Chico, between 101 and 103.